Hey, welcome back to B-Dub's Games. This is Brandon. Uh, the kids are taking a break, so they'll probably be barging in on me anytime. You might hear them throughout this little video. Uh, I have been messing around um, trying to find a safer way uh, to do explosions. Explosives. Uh, they're pretty cool. I've got a few ideas that I want to try out real quick. Uh, so this is just going to be a, a, a quick video with explosions. Uh, I mean, what be, could be cooler, right? So let's go ahead and start this up. Uh, I'm going to grab the world here. Start where we are. I'm not 100% sure where we are. Uh, I've modified my home a little bit, uh, I think, since the last video. Uh, put some windows so I can see outside. And put a nice little bath here. Ah, uh, yes. Um, and I'm slightly hungry. Uh, that's fine. So we'll go ahead and feed. I, I look like that. I kind of got rid of uh, the armor. Uh, that I was using. What I think I'm going to do is, is uh, I have made a bow and some arrows and this is how uh, I think we're going to try to light up. I've tested it a few times so it's not a 100% failure. Uh, you just have to kind of make sure that you get this fire arrow. Um, stay your distance away, shoot this at a long distance. It might work on a, in a cave if you have enough uh, place to run around, but uh, we're going to try it outside and see what happens. Uh, another uh, idea that I had come up with last night, uh, not that I have seen anything on uh, YouTube or anything, is I think if I place some uh, some trees or... Whoa, where am I going? Uh, I have food in case I need it. All right, so I'm going to run this way. So we go out there where the sand is. I think that's kind of fun to, to, to blow up that. It makes a little bit bigger hole. But I'm going to grab some of this, um, some of these leaves. All right, looking around. I should probably look around. Uh, make sure I don't get attacked since I'm looking up in the air. All right, so this, this was my idea anyway. I've got some matches, and... Uh, I think if I like lay a trail of these, just like like might be a slow burning wick type effect, light the first one, then take off running, and maybe by the time the leaves burning make it to uh, the powder keg, it might explode. So we are going to give it a shot, and we are going to give it a shot inside this uh, hole here. That, we, that I did yesterday from shooting the bow and arrow. That was my bow and arrow target over there, shooting through there and blasting stuff up here. So um, we're going to try this first out oops, this way. Oh, that's probably wasn't a good idea. I'm going to do this one so it doesn't fall down on me. I'm going to try to put... Um, let's put three back see if we can get a massive explosion. Let's go ahead and uh, where's my powder keg? Let's do let's go ahead and do the large. One we'll do one large first and we're gonna use a slow burning wick to see if this will actually w work for me. Alright this might take a little time but we're going to give it a shot. So I, maybe I should shoot my arrow at it. Just for fun. I'm going to shoot my arrow at it so you guys can see, have an idea. This is like a, a mid-type blast door, and I was, was taking it in kind of using the distance. So we're going to load up a fire arrow. I'm going to switch to the fire arrow, and we're going to make a shot and hopefully hit it. Now I hit it and it ended up just killing it and it didn't spread the fire. Again, this is uh, hopefully it's not really lit. One of those things. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drop another one and let's see if just okay. I am running. I don't know how slow that really is. Okay, so it's still only on the first one. So this could be like an extremely slow burning. I want to make sure it's... Okay, it is spreading. So we're going to go ahead and get back here and watch it from afar. Looks like the... Alright, it's burning up the, the next one. Hopefully it burns the ones that are inside uh, and we'll see what happens. Come on. It's going to happen. It's burning inside the hole. 
hopefully it, it burns and lights the powder keg on fire. That's the important thing, is that it lights it on fire. And this could be a nice slow burning wick. There's the one inside. Is it going to do it? It just needs to start the keg on fire. The ostrich over there is going to get a little bit. Oh, there it is. Whoa, I almost got slammed by a, it's like a cannon. That was another thing I thought maybe we should do maybe one day, build an actual cannon. And now that I have a slow burning wick idea, I might be able to do that. That <clears throat> was pretty fun. Uh, I should have stood behind my blast wall. Okay, so one powder keg in, it was a large one inside this mess um, that was pretty fun uh, that it did a pretty good job so I think I think this could work inside uh, of a cave if you bring in leaves and a match uh, yeah I think it I certainly think it can so um, Let's see, can I hit the powder keg if I, we're going to see if I can hit it, show you what I was doing before with just the bow and arrow and the flame, the flame here, that, oh, there's gravel, let's try this one, and more gravel, okay, I have to be able to get it in there, I don't know, can you set powder kegs up in the air? Probably what doesn't do it a whole lot of good. All right, there's a spot right there. So let's put one more large powder keg. Um, right there. All right, so the flaming arrow shooting shooting a slow burning wick with the flaming arrow doesn't work because. Um, well, you saw it, it does. It hits the leaves and destroys it because of the power of the arrow. So there's the barrel. So that means I have got to try a trick shot here. I'm going to first try it with this steel tip, or it's not. It's a stone arrow. Um, it's kind of my practice shot. All right. It's kind of a waste, but um, all right. So I think. I've got to like hit just a little higher, the, like right to there, with the flaming arrow, and we'll see. Uh, arrows aren't exactly cheap. Not, well, not exactly cheap, because you've got to... Here we go. All right, a little low. They're not exactly cheap, because you got to make sure you have enough feathers, so you have to kill enough birds. Let's go shoot a little higher. Oh. I didn't get it, so I still need to shoot a little higher. And hopefully, I don't hit my. Oh, all right. So maybe, maybe I just need to to do this a little bit closer. I'm wasting so many arrows, but I'm trying to get the idea of how. Okay, so they drop a little bit. So I'm gonna aim high, and I'm gonna hit. Oh, that was so close, so close, and it's getting dark. The nighttime explosion. One more. Bam! Hit it. There it is. There it is. There it is. So we're going to get behind the blast door. We're going to keep going this way. Hopefully we don't get shot by anything. Oh, we almost got shot by again. I wonder if that would hurt us if that hit us with this stone. I bet it would. All right. So there, before it gets dark, as the sun's going down and our, our big last explosion, like I said, quick video, show you an idea of how to make some... Uh, to safely explode those big powder caves, that's another way. Look, nice little bear cave I've got going on here. Um, and that's that. Uh, this is Brandon with b -Dubs Games. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you like what you see, click the like button, and I will keep doing all this goofy stuff for you. If you have any suggestions or things I should try or things I should do better, just let me know. I appreciate it. Take care. Thanks again.